In this video today, we're gonna visit the wharf and we're gonna say three great townhomes. I'll show you around three parts of the wharf district and we'll talk about the culture and the lifestyle here in the wharf district in Petaluma. So let's roll and have some fun in downtown Petaluma. Hi there, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner so you get all the videos I put out every single Friday and sometimes a bonus video on Mondays. This is Anita Anderson with Discover Sonoma County Living. I'm a local realtor and I get calls and texts and emails from people just like you every single day wondering about Sonoma County and needing information about moving here and my team and I were ready to go We're looking forward to hearing from you. So give me a call You can call me up to pretty late at night and I'm a real texter So make sure you text me too and you can even email me We look forward to speaking to you and we don't care if you're not moving for many many months So give us a jingle way ahead of time and we'll talk to you about the relocation process Sonoma County and anything else you need to cover uh, to make the whole process a success now let's go look at a Another great neighborhood. Hey there, it's Anita. We are on Townhome Condominium number one at 129 F Street here in the Wharf District. The old area of Petaluma that used to be railroad tracks and factories, uh, the railroad tracks met the ships that came up the river at the turn of the century and for many, many, many decades uh, to carry goods from Petaluma uh, throughout the bay and back to the bay and around to the cities. So uh, it was a busy, busy place and right around 2000, they started uh, developing it with the townhome, which you can see right there. So we're gonna look at this one. It's a two bedroom, three bath with direct access garages, which you can see behind me. And it's about 1,465 square feet. This was built in 2008. <clears throat> They're very cute inside. I've been in many of them and uh, it sold for $7.62 about four months ago. I'm going to try to stay in the sunshine here and just kind of show you the building. There's lots of different kinds of front door entries. Most of them are just front street entries like this, but some are kind of like they have a little alcove and you go in. And we can see 129 right here. And then this is the unit right here. And they have a great view on the top floor. So it's kind of neat <clears throat> because you're a two minute walk from downtown everything, from your gym, from your coffee shop, your veterinarian, <laughs> um, everything. There's a boxing place right here. I'm gonna do walk in a circle again when we get out to this intersection. But this is a one little section. We're gonna do three here. And these are all businesses. <clears throat> Down some of these side streets, which I'll show you, are some houses from the turn of the century, but mostly a lot of business offices. That's a canoe, clavy, uh, paddle sports is right there. Great Mexican restaurant. Pinky's Pizza Parlor. Everybody goes there to have a beer and a pizza after the soccer game. <laughs> um, boxing right here. This is a great women owned uh, uh, car repair place right here. Just kind of neat. So we're gonna go see another one. Um, very cool, it's actually pretty quiet down here in the industrial area. Um, it's kind of interesting because I always thought it was kind of noisy with a lot of factory stuff, but it's not noisy at all. Um, I'm sure there's times when there is, but I consider it amazingly quiet. Uh, there's a foundry right there with a huge statue, which I'll insert a, into this video so you can see it, but it's kind of interesting. So there's like art lofts and craft loft, not craft lofts, but artist lofts and um, art industry along here as well. So let's go look at uh, townhome number two and more of the Wharf District.
Okay, here we are at another great condominium here in the Wharf District, uh, condominium number two, and it's at 418 First Street. Uh, this is a three bedroom, four bath, but it has five rooms. And uh, so let's check it out and walk around. Hey, so we're at 413 2nd Street, the last of the three townhome condominiums we're gonna go go into and look at here in the Wharf District. This is actually, I was had to double read this information. This is a four bath condominium with two bedrooms. There's a garage attached and it's about 1,900 square feet. It's pretty big in there. Um, kind of amazing. It sold for about 30,000 over asking about eight or nine months ago in 2021. This is being shot in March of 2022. So that gives you a little bit of perspective. Uh, it went way over asking 10 months ago. I bet it would go way over, way over in the upper 800s or even 900,000 it could maybe go for uh, here in the hot market in 2022. So um, there's a great juice company. People love the juice company right next to it right here. We're gonna walk through the neighborhood a little bit. And then there's fitness right here. Lots of businesses, which is kind of fun. And then hopefully my battery won't run out, but we can do a little walk and tour. Uh, this is all a business building right here, old building. And I'll flip the camera over. See, there's like an old turn of the century house right in the middle of the industry. So that's kind of cool. And then I wanted to walk up here to G Street so you could see these cute modern condominiums right here. And then this little part of G Street, which has old houses on it. This old one, it's really kept up really well with the wisteria and this little bungalow right here. We've got True Stone Skin Care and this quilting shop has been here a long, long time. So this is one of my favorite streets, mostly because I think this building is just phenomenally cute. It's kind of the wrap. I'll give you a little bit more neighborhood tour as we wrap this up. We'll go down to Aquas Cafe and um, and you can watch some of the neighborhood driving video as we wrap it up here. So you're moving into Sonoma County and you need a little help. Maybe it's two months, six months, I don't know, eight months away before you actually move. But it's great to get a hold of us right away. Give us a call, text us. My phone number and information is on the screen right now. And me and my team are looking forward to helping you think about all the things you need to do to relocate into Sonoma County. My information is also under the little V on the left-hand corner of your phone screen and under the show more section if you're looking at the video on a computer. Scroll down a little bit, click on show more, and you'll see my contact information. We really look forward to speaking to you, so give us a jingle and we'll get going on that thinking right away. And we'll see you around the neighborhood.